Please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. Today is Wednesday, March 4th. I'm Feeman. And I'm Mr. Ward. Coming up, we have information about the Junior Chipotle fundraiser tonight. Also, another candy commercial about stall day. We'll be right back with all this in your school news. In class news, seniors who are applying to any colleges using the Common Application, remember to request your mid-year transcript. Come to the counseling office and complete a purple mid-year request form. Administration is trying to estimate how many seniors plan to attend post-prom and get an idea of what you would like to do during the event. To help us make informed decisions, please fill out the survey posted on Skyward as soon as possible. The junior class is holding a fundraiser at Chipotle tonight. Class President Connor Aiken and Communications Coordinator Olivia Tobias are here to tell you more. School spirit tastes great. Make sure to come out tonight to Chipotle between 4 and 8 p.m. to support the Cedar Crest High School class of 21. Mention that you're with us or go on our social media and pull up a picture of the flyer. You can also show this flyer in person. 33% of the proceeds will be donated to our class. Please come out and support the junior class. Anyone is welcome to attend. Woo. In club news, Pep Club will be meeting in the CAF this week. Activity period dodgeball today will be limited to the students who signed up ahead of time. Please do not report to the gym if you did not sign up. German candy is finally here. See a German club member to purchase your gummy bears, roulettes, and Toblerone chocolate bars. All club members should stop by room 318 sometime today to pick up your fundraiser bag. This month's book club will be reading Circe by Madeline Miller. The meeting will be held on Tuesday, March 17th in the library after school. Bring snacks. If you have any further questions, join our mind at CC Reads. In school news, are you a senior who has been involved in at least one theatrical production here at the high school? Seniors with past experience in the drama program are invited to direct their own one-act play. See Mrs. Haynes in room 608 for more information. The application deadline for directors is March 10th. The student body is welcome to audition on March 17th. One-act plays will be held May 8th. Read Across America is asking for donations for the Humane Society. They are in need of cat litter, canned food, cat and dog toys, dog food, treats, leashes, bleach, detergent, liquid hand soap, and paper towels. Donations can be brought to your English teacher from March 2nd to March 6th. Top three classes will receive hot chocolate and cookies from The Purge. Let's get in the spirit of Dr. Seuss's birthday by showing compassion for our furry friends. Are you daydreaming of summertime activities? Whether you're thinking about music, sports, science camps, leadership forums, cultural experiences, academic enrichment opportunities, the Falcon Foundation may be able to help your dreams come true. The Falcon Foundation offers grants and awards to help fund educational and enrichment opportunities for students, staff, and residents of the Cornwall Lebanon community. Awards range from $50 to $1,000 and must be used between June 1, 2020 through November 30, 2020. Application deadline for grants and awards is March 15th. Applications are available in the main office or may be downloaded from the district website. Look under the Community tab for Falcon Foundation. The following schools will soon be visiting Cedar Crest for interested students in grades 10 through 12. Please sign up at the desk in the College and Career Center located in the library so that you may attend the meeting. Thursday, March 12th, Alvernia University. This week is Spirit Week for Minithon, which is coming up this Friday. Here are the themes for each day of the Spirit Week. Today is Day of Honesty. Wear black and white. and. If I'm being totally honest, Feeman, you're pretty cool. If I'm being honest, Worry, your dad jokes are not that bad. Tomorrow is Day of Strength. Wear camo and military and pay a dollar to wear a hat. And Friday, wear your mini-thon shirt and or beach wear. Tomorrow will also be stall day. Bring in change to stall your teachers. Caden Fees is here with more. Stall day. This Thursday is... Your green screen's not working again. Not again! Turn on! Ah, anyways, Thursday is stall day. You can bring in money to stall class and raise money for mini time. If you give your teachers money, they will have to count it and it will take time away from class. Bring some coins so it takes longer. Now get that cash and stall some class.
And now we have your Week 25 and Week 26 Wings of Praise winners. The Week 25 winners are... Reagan Reese, 9th grade. Alan Davis, 12th grade. Ashley Vasquez, 10th grade. Kaylee Wilson, <coughs> excuse me, 12th grade. And the Week 26 win winners are... Deja Sellers, 11th grade. Hannah Lobb, 10th grade. Delaney Chapel, 11th grade. Katie Rodriguez, 9th grade. And A.J. Neasel, 10th grade. Congratulations to our winners. Please see Mr. Schaefer in the main office during homeroom. Thank you to Sheets for donating gift cards. Later this month, social studies teacher Dr. Zaria will be heading on a trip to Morocco. For two weeks, Dr. Zaria will be surrounding herself with Moroccan history, food, and culture. Correspondent Hannah Seibert caught up with Dr. Z to get her thoughts on the upcoming trip. I'm leaving on March 14, and I will be going to the capital, Rabat. I'll be staying there one week, and then I'll go to another city along the Atlantic coast called Agadir. And I'll be there for about a week and a half going to, and helping to teach um, at a local high school there. I'm very excited just to learn about the culture there, the educational system there, to see the comparisons with education here in the United States, and just the opportunity to learn more about a culture that I'm not as familiar with. Morocco is a beautiful, beautiful country. Such diversity and so much richness in culture and history, and I'm just really excited. Obviously, I will be greatly missing my family. Um, we usually travel together, and I would love to have them come with me. I actually will miss the interactions with my colleagues and my students. I hope to learn, first of all, about the culture of Morocco and bring back some of that to my students and to the classroom get other teachers excited about global education and to hopefully encourage the school district to move towards a more international perspective about education. I hope to bring back uh, not only my experience traveling into another country, bringing back uh, what I have learned about Morocco. I also hope to maybe encourage uh, my students and uh, fellow teachers to move beyond their comfort zone of this culture. You get a greater appreciation not only of the places that you go and visit and uh, learn about and live in, but also you get an appreciation when you go back home, some of the things that could improve or some of the things that are just unique uh, in this area, like Lebanon County has a lot of unique things to offer. That looks like a lot of fun and the best of luck to Dr. Zaria. Have a great time, Dr. Z. If you are interested in playing an intramural soccer after school this spring, please show up at room 808 in the basement for in, in, uh, my apologies for an informational meeting next Tuesday, March 10th at the beginning of homeroom at 745. If you cannot make it to the meeting, please come see Mr. Steedle in room 808 at another time soon. If you're a lifeguard and your certification is going to expire soon, there will be a class March 21st at CCH registration. CCH registration forms are at the high school office on the school website or on the bulletin board outside the pool entrance. Forms are due by March 13th. <laughs> also, if you're interested in becoming a lifeguard, CCHS will be having class registration forms at the, in the high school office on the school, on the school website and on the bulletin board outside of the pool entrance. Forms are due by March 13th. <laughs> That's all for your morning announcements. Remember to put your earbuds away and wear your ID for your friend's safety and for your own. I'm Mr. Worry. And I'm Feynman. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest.